if you consider the opera form that some people consider very classical, right? And it's in a stage, it's live with huge orchestras and you know incredible theatrical lighting and set design and singing. You know, uh, the Atlanta Opera has been in, in, in Atlanta doing this incredible work for more than 40 years now. Uh, but we were started to look with Thomas Vuron, the general and artistic director, how we can incorporate now filmmaking and technology into sort of what we do on stage. And we decided to go all in with creating a film studio within the Atlanta Opera Company. Uh, we always said that if you go to the theater and you pay the most expensive tickets, you still have the orchestra in between you and the stage, right? So you're never this close to the stage, you know, and we've been embracing that idea of what I always refer to uh, in my way of filmmaking, which is a very human way. I want the camera to be responsive as a human, and if you say something very meaningful and impactful, I will, you know, like, be shocked and move backwards, or if something very, you know, touchy, I will be like, oh my gosh, and lean forward. So. Bringing the audience to be on stage is always uh, the brand that we're trying to establish. Creating films of the shows that are live, but also in this case, is actually creating a short film uh, completely done for cinema. So this is our first feature short film. And so when you consider an opera company that, again, is considered in a very classical form, now doing this and having an OTT platform, using the technology to communicate and have like a Netflix around, right? That's what we have. Uh, we started to innovate with live streaming in a very cinematic way. Uh, people are used to now by live streaming, of course, you know, and, and the Met Opera has done it for, for many, many years. But we wanted to take it in, on a different uh, approach and really make it a, like a movie version of live performances. So the cameras were using all old cinema cameras with high technology, you know, 6K sensors, I mean. Uh, so it's, it's all bringing this beauty for you to experience opera in a different way. Uh, but we also can contribute to the live shows. So we film many things that actually then get used to in the shows. Uh, so that's the beauty of this whole process. And now that we're even including huge video walls that you can have back projections, front projections, and everything in between, we're thinking about how we can revolutionize opera as an art form and take it farther. So the revolution of Steve Jobs, which is a very modern, obviously, topic, which is the next show, combines all of that as well, and it has a lot of projections, 28 monitors on, on, on the stage, uh, which can create another problem for me to film it, right? <laughs> but we solve around the problem, and so we're trying to do all of that. So the, obviously, performing live is always going to be the number one thing, but when you start thinking about what filmmaking can do for you, when you can now become an international company, because through technology now you can stream your performances all over the world, you don't have to be in Atlanta, uh, or you can use uh, media that you filmed to be part of the shows, or to actually capture the shows in a cinematic way, and then bring people to experience opera in a way that you haven't experienced it before.